I'm going to talk about how co-housing community is supposed to work and why I'd like to see one in Oklahoma City. So just to start, there is no co-housing community currently in Oklahoma City. And I also want to start with, uh, I'm, I'm not a developer, I don't have any financial stake in seeing a co-housing community um, become, I, I just want to live there. So you might be thinking either no, nothing at all or like a commune with dirty hippies, um, <laughs> like I lived in when I was five. Um, but this is what co-housing community is like now. So this is the Oak Creek community in Stillwater. It's one of only two in our region, um, older hippies, and uh, a nice, tidy neighborhood. Um, so these are the six defining characteristics of co-housing according to the Co-Housing Association of the U.S. Or participatory process, neighborhood design, common facilities, resident management, non-hierarchical structure and decision making, and no shared community economy. So participatory process. From the beginning, people who want to live in community participate in the design of the community, what the values are going to be, what the agreements are going to be of how the community is operated, what's going to be there, how that, what the houses are going to look like. Um, the neighborhood design, usually the houses are close together, they're, they're, they're modest sized, they're walkable, um, parking is on the perimeter, um, they have lots of green space. They're designed to promote, promote community. They have shared, uh, shared facilities. I'm going to talk about a little bit more here in a moment. Um, but it's, a, it, it's all about bringing people together, making you interact on a daily basis. So most communities have a community building where people meet for dinner, ce celebrations a few times a, a, a week, um, cook dinner together. Um, the, the community buildings might have a, a library or, or guest rooms for people who are visiting the community. Um, green, they have green spaces, shared gardens, shared workshops, um, things that, they, that bring the community together. They, you can interact and see each other. Um, resident management. The, the community, everybody's expected to participate in the manage, management of the community in whatever area of interest is interest. And there's typically different committees for the grounds or the, the, um, the, the design of the buildings. Um, parents meet together to, to talk about issues with children. Um, people work together. It's usually a, a work day one or two times a month. Um, the next aspect is non-hierarchical structure and decision making. Most communities try and stray away from having authority figures. They use um, consensus decision making to, to make the decisions of how they want their community to be. And, and along with that comes the, the responsibility of, of taking the, um, what you want your community to be into your own hands and, and making that happen. So rather than complaining to the homeowners association about something that's going on, you actually do something yourself. Uh, no shared community economy. Um, there's no mixing of income. Homes are owned separately. They're bought. They're sold separately. Um, the, there's an association that will own the common green space and the, um, the community buildings. So we're looking at the American dream. Home ownership, maybe on a, on a smaller scale um, and in a way that promotes community. So what I want to see is an old-fashioned community. A Thomas Kincaid painting is what I want to live in, really. Um, where everybody knows each other's names. You're there to help each other out. Um, I, currently, I don't know very many of my neighbors in, in the typical suburb that I live in. Um, so you have the shared space, but you also have the private homes where everybody's free to do as they like, live in the way that, that they want to live, raise their families how they want. And you share things like the hard times, um, the good times, and tools. Right. Um, you'll, need, you'll need 30 lawn mowers. You only need a couple. Right. Um, also, another aspect, there's, a, there's no political affiliation or ideological affiliation, religious affiliation. Of, of the community. It's not a, um, a compound or, or a, a commune. Um, so the last thing is, you know, I, I think the co-housing is for anybody, whether you're a fake hippie, fake business person, fake cowboy, 
Uh, real grandma, real puppy, fake Frenchman, or the founder of communism himself, Richard Marx. Wait, Karl, Karl Marx. So. Um, yeah. See me if you'd like to le learn more. I have, um, I have information.